Queen Elizabeth had to put church first before Prince Charles. British monarch snubbed son. In 2005, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip didn't attend the wedding ceremony of Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bells. Although the British monarch and her husband did join the blessing and reception, reports said that the public sought their absence as a sign of total disapproval. It made total sense why several individuals thought this was the case. As it happened, the Prince of Wales' relationship to the now Duchess of Cornwall was filled with controversies and dramas following the separation of the Wales couple in 1992. Tapes of the future king's conversations with Camilla went viral. These conversations between the two reportedly confirmed their affair despite being married to their respective partners, Princess Diana and Andrew Parker Bells. Accordingly, the basis and foundation of the Cornwall couple's relationship is not entirely a good matter, especially in the eyes of Queen Elizabeth II, who is the head of the British monarchy. According to Good Housekeeping, Prince Charles and now Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall's announcement of their engagement angered a lot of people. Even on the day of the wedding, the event was reportedly filled with tons of dramas. The publication said that many British individuals slammed the heir apparent and even went outside of the Clarence House to protest that he should never be the King of the United Kingdom if he ties the knot to Camilla Parker Bowles. Royal experts and journalists like Penny Juna also reportedly shared that he received tons of angry emails upon learning the engagement of the couple. Despite all the criticisms and objections, the wedding proceed on April the 9th. The civil ceremony was reportedly held at Windsor. Guild Hall, considering that they're both divorced from their previous marriages, they could not get married in a church. This is also the reason why the venue was reportedly chained from Windsor Castle to Guild Hall. Even so, the couple still received a special marital blessing from the Archbishop of Canterbury, Robin Williams, at St. George's Chapel. In a report released by the Express UK, Queen Elizabeth II didn't attend the civil ceremony because she had to put her position first as the Supreme Governor of the Church. It was said that she confided these matters with a friend of hers, who later on told the Telegraph, as stated, Queen Elizabeth II deemed her attendance at the civil ceremony as damaging to the Church of England. But despite her absence, royal historians and experts clarified that her decision to not attend the ceremony was not a show of disapproval towards the couple, so it was not a snub on the British monarch's part.